Sue, and this is what she had to say about her next piece. I chose a Stravinsky because it just sort of reeks excitement and redemption. And it's using full orchestra, full hammer and tongs. You know, the wall of sound. I mean, forget Phil Spector. This is Spectre times ten. It has some Simpsons in there. It has some Borodin in there. Everything that we've used is in this piece. What it does have, for me, is a really personal sort of resonance of... We've all gone through something really spectacular. Let's ah, let's end it as, as magnificently as possible. Conducting the finale from Stravinsky's Firebird Suite, please welcome Sue Perkin. Previous week I said you should stop doing comedy and start conducting, and that's taken as an insult, but it's a, it's a compliment to your conducting. No, Fantastic. I take it purely as a compliment, oh, thank you. Now, <laughs> Dominic, what do you say about this? Well, you're at a small disadvantage, because this is my all-time favourite piece. But you really did it justice. It was, it was a, there was a little bit of a boo-boo in there, and you apologised to the band. That's absolutely great. Weren't they fantastic? Thank okay. you very, very much. Really enjoyed it. Thank you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 
Well, your, so your technique is already allows you to do much more than just, you know, conducting one and two, etc. So I wish sometimes there would be more of a fantasy world, like for instance this harp yeah. passage, that you can just close your eyes, lose yourself, and just, uh, if you had a uh, baton, you could just, you know, it's like a magic stick, yes. Um, we're going to have to go on to scores now as we rush through this live broadcast. So, Dominic? Nine. Nine. Right. Nine. Nine. <laughs> you see. Uh, and Maxim. Sorry, seven. Seven. Oh. Oh, it's a total of thirty-four, though. That's that's not that's not bad, is it? No. <laughs> well, well done, Sue. Thank you. Super Thank good. you. Well done. <laughs>